Someone went crazy during the Cyber Monday Saturday so crazy. Let's do this. What's up guys? How you doing? Well, I hope today we have a huge haul. We're actually going to unbox, unbag together. Um, I got this package late last night and I was like, I'm going to open this with my friends. Try it on all. Try it on it. What? What are words? Try it all on and um, just have a good time together. I went crazy during the Cyber Monday sale. Um, ASOS is still has a lot of stuff deeply discounted. Full disclosure, I love ASOS. Dare I say ASOS love me, but I spent all my own coins on this purchase. Um, I do get stuff from them from time to time, but this is all stuff that I was like, take my money, take my money. So I'm not gonna ramble on forever. Um, one thing, hello, new hair who dis. I've also been going a little bit crazy with the wigs. I'm here for it. I hope you are too. It's just honestly, it's so much fun. And I didn't realize like how much fun you could have with wigs. I'm going to do a separate video because I have another one and I've been posting them all over IG. So hello, are you following me on IG? Because that's where a lot of my life is outside of the YouTubes, you know, outside of these YouTube streets. So without further ado, let's just jump into the haul. First bag, bag number one. Don't know how, I wish there were a table here or here. There's one over there, but I think it's a little too far for a little setup. Do you like this new setup? This is actually, let me move. This is facing my living room. <laughs> um, that was stupid because it's always facing my living room. This is facing my sofa um, and I usually film on that side of the room. The shelves that you see in a little console and stuff, but switching it up, why not? We got it open. First thing is this box. Okay. Okay. As you may or may not know, my five foot ten ridiculously long self, okay? She is tall. The fingers are long, the arms are long, the legs are long, the torso is long. Good grief. <sighs> so of course the foot is long. I have really long feet. And the problem is like I don't even have the widest foot. Just kidding. I should probably put that on silent. Anyway, I have really big feet. That's what we were talking about. Um, so I often will peak. So I wear a lot of um, like brands that have catered to bigger feet, but often they're really, really wide. Like I love Torrid shoes, but I got a couple sandals from them this summer and they were so wide I couldn't even wear them. So I don't know. I'm, I'm struggle city when it comes to feet. It's like a tiny wide, but not really a wide wide. So anyway, sometimes I look in the men's section and see kind of like the, you know, unisex, all gender, whatever you want to call it, um, shoes. And I got these and my fingers are crossed. I'm really, 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 really hopeful. Wow, look at her. Okay. So this, I was excited, did come in a wide width. You know why? Because look how pointy this is. I, dare I say, don't have any like corns and bunions and things, barnacles and such on my feet. Nothing wrong if you do, but I don't. And I don't want to cause any with the shoes that I wear. So if it's really pointy, I do want a wider situation so that my feet aren't like getting pushed. So excited. This looks mad slippery though, and I have a fear of falling, so I will be adding something rubbery feeling to the bottom of this, cause sh kaboom, she don't wanna go down. Next up, that's how heavy she is. Wow, look at this color. Um, when people are opening things, they're always like, oh my God, I don't even remember what I bought. I remember it now that I'm seeing it, but it was a couple days ago and I feel like why YouTubers, bloggers, whatever say that is we deal with so many things coming in, whether you ordered it, whether a PR company told you to pick things, whether someone is just sending you gifts. So we're constantly like stimulated by items that when you actually do order something, you kind of forget what the heck you were doing or you were multitasking. So excited to see that I picked this. What's happening? There's like secret tissue paper on the inside. Not sure what that's about. So this green is a little washed out on screen. I can see from my little monitor, but it's so vibrant and it's like a neon, wow. Ribbed for her pleasure. I'm not 
control today. Someone stop her. But I love this. It's nice and thin. I can't wait to see it on. Um, yeah, she's cute. I feel like this sweater is where like practicality meets passion, you know? Passionate about color, passionate about neon, passionate about ribbing, you know what I'm saying? And then it's practical because it's a lightweight, thin, very easy. I have it on over my dress. Very easy to wear, very simple turtleneck, not aggressive, not strangling, very comfortable, but fun, you know what I mean? Fun. What is this? <gasps> Oh, you guys. Much like everything that I wear and do, it's not going to be for everyone. I'm definitely your kind of forward random fashion girl. Um, but I saw this and I was shook down to the damn ground that this came in plus sizes. This would have been my dream. My dream. And I would have seen it on like some runway. It's definitely giving me... 90s designer fashion vibes wow okay wow 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 so this is a gorgeous like tapestry-esque your grandma's curtains you know i'm aware <laughs> i'm into it and this faux fur collar oh i mean swaddle me in nonsense forever i don't want to be too dramatic she says in a floral length tapestry coat with faux fur. I don't want to be too dramatic, but this coat, this coat makes me want to ask my own self for my own, my own self, for my own autograph. Hi, I'm famous because of this coat. Bro, who are you? Who are you in this coat, Kelly? I mean, dang. Wow, shaboom, boom, wow. I'm obsessed. This probably is my greatest purchase um, of all time. Putting it out there. The only thing that could have made it even more crazy like vintage would be a fur faux on the, um, the wrist, but I feel like that might have been OD. Like I should just kind of reel it in and appreciate what we have, but I'm floored. This is amazing. Okay, two more smaller items in the first bag. This, what is this? Oh, okay. This is 1,025% inspired by Alex. Um, so, and it's funny because I have literally three like besties named Alex. I mean, Alex learning to be fearless. So she's been wearing these knotted headbands lately. And I was like, but I want to wear a knotted headband too. So this is a like gold velvet knotted headband. This thing is so freaking cute. And I didn't get the kind where, well, I say knotted, but I can tie a knot in this one. So I didn't get the kind where you just kind of like push it onto your head because I wanted to have the option to tie it, to kind of have the, the dangly dupes hanging kind of from the back here, very like 60s vibe. And then also I can have it around the top of my head. We will get into this, but she is darling. The last little item from the first big bag. That's a lot to process. Um, oh, I'm so glad I got these, I forgot. Um, these gorgeous white earrings okay so there should be a book called selfies taught me because i feel like i've learned so much about myself and my style from taking selfies one thing is is that i really like contrasting items for up close photos for making videos where i'm like sitting and talking to camera and white earrings on brown skin with dark hair is just a good thing i mean i'm sure if you are more fair complected it's just going to look super cool because it's stark you know what i mean like so if you're very fair with dark hair or very fair with blonde hair all you need is like some color in your face whether it's a lip dark lip red lip whatever but it's just good so i wanted a pair of white earrings found these and um yeah i love them Big bag number two. Let's get into her. 
Um, actually, when I was at the ASOS, ASOS, when I was at the ASOS office the last time, they sh they showed me how you open up this bag because you can basically reseal this bag. I have never opened it right. I always rip into it like a savage. But there's a way. I think I'm gonna ask them so that I can show you. So when you, because ASOS has free returns, by the way. So if you are gonna return something, you can just send it back in this same bag. But I forget how you open it. There's some like more intelligible way than just doing what I just did. Okay, first up. Oh, it's orange. Orange is like, ugh. Orange is giving me so much life lately. I'm just really feeling her, you know, as a color. Okay, so we got a sweater. As you know, I will hopefully you know because you've watched more than one video boom, 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 subscribe. Um, I basically got rid of almost all my clothes. And so, um, and then I kind of took inventory on what I really needed. And what I needed was tops and colorful tops because that's what I like the most. So I got this. It's showing up a little bright on screen, but let me just, you know what? Let's just get close. Let's turn her down. This, this is the color of the shirt. Ooh, and look how tan I look. Yes, back to normal. So this sweater is really gorgeous. Um, I like that it's stretchy, it's cozy, it's very soft. And um, I like the ribbing here, the quilting, ribbing, what are we saying? We know for her pleasure, we got it, Kel. Um, and then the arms are really long. This is great. Like, I feel like I'm gonna wear this literally all the time. I honestly feel like someone in the ASOS office said, Give the people, I decree, I decree, give the people a slouchy sweater. And like all these like fairies and elves and stuff ran around the office and were like throwing things around, fabric samples, swatches, uh, scissors. And then they all came together just like in the North Pole and came up with this sweater. And then they all like lined up and the decreer was standing on a stage and he's like, bring me the sweater. And then they all like ran to him and they were carrying it because they're all really little. They're obviously like this tall and they were carrying it, you know, above their heads, walking the sweater to the decreer. And then they were like, here's the sweater. And then everyone started singing and dancing. And that's how this sweater was born because it's perfect. So wait, wait, wait. I didn't remember that I bought this because I went on the ASO site yesterday. I know. And because there was two things that I forgot and they went on sale and I'm like, I have to get these because like they're just, the best thing about ASOS is literally, it's kind of like eloquy, like it's stuff that does not exist anywhere else. And plus we can all find skinny jeans. We can all find, you know, tank tops and t-shirts and stuff, but like for the actual fashion items, the stuff that makes your wardrobe that really shows your personality, when you see something and you're like in love, you have to go back. So that's what I did. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so obsessed with this coat. This color is life. These details, like look at this, wow. Okay, does Kelly need another coat? We might have established that she doesn't. However, I did donate like 40 coats, something crazy. So I wanted to kind of, I don't know, reward myself with two like really impactful, powerful statement coats that I'm gonna love and wear all the time, you know. Uh, so yeah, I, wow. Good job, Kelly Brown, getting the right coats. Holy-ish, y'all. Holy-ish. Name a more iconic coat. Name one. Oh, wait. I'm shook. Shook, shook, shook. Okay, there's one snap, so that's not ideal, I feel like. And the snap is like kind of like not powerful. I feel like it should be more heavily magnetized. Uh, that would be my one note for this. I personally might add another like hook closure so that I know that it's gonna stay closed, especially when it's like a brick, brick, brick outside and you're schlepping through the mean New York City streets. But this color, this Borg, she's so comfortable. Also like these badass details. Y'all, this coat is amazing. And it's like, it's super, super comfortable. I, I I really am excited about how much room I feel like I have in the arms 
and in like the top of the body. If you're an hourglass, I'm gonna suggest that you size down because this is so comfy cozy on me that if you're really little and bigger on the bottom, it might be too big for you up top. So keep that in mind. Next up, we have, what is this? Oh, a scarf. I think I got this scarf to go with the coat you just saw. Cause I also got rid of a bunch of scarves. I felt like, I don't know, I, I feel like I'm a little bit like struggle city when it comes to scarves. I don't love them. But then sometimes I see a print and I'm like, oh, that's cute. But I haven't really thought out how it's going to go with what coats I have and how much am I going to wear it. So I try to be a little bit more thoughtful because I thought one, this kind of plays well with the colors in that like grandma coat and it also looks good with the Borg coat and then also I have a white coat that I wear a lot and a green coat that I wear a lot so oh my god she's so cozy look at her wow just out here doing it what else do we have okay this looks like pants I I need pants you guys figure that out when I throw away my whole closet. I was like, oh, you don't like two pairs of pants. What's that about? It's because I love dresses, but I want to wear pants more. But also I'm talking about pants and I now think that this is a dress. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, okay. 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 I see what you did there, Cal. I see what you did there. So this is a dress that I have been looking at for months. It's still available. And I kept saying to myself, wow, Kelly, if your body were different in this way, this dress would be great on you. If your body were different in this way, this dress would be great on you. If you didn't have big fat arms that are really like wobbly, if you didn't have um, side belly instead of, you know, this kind of belly instead of this kind of belly, all this nonsense okay but I keep looking at the dress I keep clicking on the dress I keep seeing myself in the dress I keep saying I could wear this here I could wear this here this would be great for this and I was like Kelly can you not be an idiot and can you get the dress try it on it's probably gonna look good and get over your nonsense and so that's what I did I got the dress you guys I got the dress Wow. 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 I, um, please let me, let me be the lesson for you. Do not talk yourself out of things before you try them. Do not see every imperfection on your body as a reason to not try. And that goes for anything, a dress, a job, a fun experience, whatever. I'm verklempt right now. I'm overwhelmed with feeling like a million effing bucks. This dress I think is so freaking everything. It's the, it's the best version of like grown up Kelly. We all know I love to like wear sneakers and dress like a teenager. It's just, maybe it's part of my like, you know, when I was a teenager, nothing was available. And so like everything I dreamed of as a fashion girl before the ASOS, before the Forever 21, um, and I get to like live out all my fashion fantasies, that is probably a big part of it. But I'm also a grown ass woman and sometimes I wanna look like one. And this is the dress for me. If I were the quote unquote, hourglass would it be kind of like oh my god flow free and all of that in my mind yeah but guess what I'm not but it still looks really good and I'm so proud of myself for trying something that I was being a punk ass biatch about okay <laughs> so here we go things you should know the dress is kind of like a woven material but there is a slight hint of stretch so I, I guess that's so like you can look tight but you can sit down and not like bust the dress, you know? So there's a little bit of give, which makes it very comfortable. The arms are comfortable. They are not strangling me. They are not hurting me. I feel fine. The body of the dress, where my stomach is, comfortable, feels fine. The length of the dress is perfect. It's like a T-length, which means it comes just below your knee and like around your calves. So you 
have to wear, you literally have to wear sexy heels with this. There's no Kelly shenanigans. There's no sneakers. There's no flats, like heels. This dress deserves heels and I'll do it. You know, I'll do a heel if, if the dress deserves it, okay? But other than that, I feel freaking amazing. Someone call the cops because I look so hot in this dress. Seriously, like, damn Kel, you're doing it. All right, we're getting down to the final, final, final countdown. Um, yeah, there's two more things. All right, so this is... I'm about to be cute like where am I going take me on a date like where are we going okay I need dates I need brunches I need casual walks through the park okay I need oh vlogmas vlogmas is coming lots of oh you guys like you're not ready vlogmas is about to be so freaking lit like I'm so excited so excited okay so this gem is gold velvet i have another like super fancy gold velvet dress which is more like maxi and it definitely i wore it in a casual way but it's definitely a lot it needs to be like you gotta really be going somewhere i feel like this is like i'm casual i'm gold i'm velvet i could be fancy if you need me to but also like you know blogger holiday parties um you know drinks with the girls like she can do a lot so I'm excited about that look at this ruffly dupe <laughs> yeah tassels what do they call these tears it's tiered and fluted and such I'm excited for this you're gonna do so many good things for me honestly I'm very glad that I got this dress. So something about this dress that gave me a little bit of pause is because it has a seam that is kind of a drop waist. And the drop waist will play up my side belly that I have been um, insecure about, which obviously I'm pushing through, I'm wearing what I wanna wear, but I just want you to know that I do have these thoughts because it's natural and normal, but I think it's important to not let them rule you and not let them, like not to let fear kind of be your deciding choice. With that said, the color is gorgeous. It feels super comfortable. There's like the perfect amount of stretch. So I'm really just chilling in this dress. It feels so good. Roughly dupes on the arms. I mean, come on. And overall just filled with holiday cheer. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer. Last but not least, not least, this, another scarf. And this is another thing that I've been looking at for a while. It's an animal print, but it has both on there. It's blue and it's brown. And I just thought this would be so sick. Like when I'm chill, if I'm wearing a black sad puffer coat and I need a little personality, if I need a little, you know, shabam bang wow, any of that, uh, I think this is gonna be perfect. Also gonna look super cute with yellow, super cute with blushy colors, very cute with blue, green. I think she's gonna take us a long way. She's gonna take us far. Holy crap, you guys, that was a lot of clothes. We made it. Congrats if you made it to the end of this video, dealing with me for so many minutes. God bless you. I'm thrilled with my purchases, like could not be happier. ASOS, I love you from the bottom of my heart. That is so genuine. I feel like, you know, teenage Kelly, grown up Kelly, we all thank you. So many clothes, so many ways to express myself and not some, you know, 50 year old, cis white male uh person in the boardroom saying no fat women shouldn't wear this no no you can't have it you can't have it creating clothes that i really want to wear making me feel like my full self letting me express myself it's so powerful so thank you to all the brands who are doing that asos isn't the only one um they just happen to be one of my faves that is it you guys i hope you enjoyed everything of course will be linked below if you have not already subscribed please do why not it's free and we love free stuff honestly we do so that is it for me thank you so much for watching love you mean it bye mm -hmm.